Yeah, Let's go. <laughs> Action? Seriously. Yo, what's going on you guys? It's your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer. Here are my lovely white gentleman on the ones and twos, and this is Way Into the Reactions, the place where we react to everything that we have never seen. And today we got something in store for you guys, something great that we have been kind of dragging our feet with, and that's a reaction to Veroni Kenshin Origins Part 2. Uh, the Kyoto Inferno. Um, I'm guessing this one's gonna revolve around this character named Shishio, which is like a character that got a lot of bandages all over his face. I can't remember, uh, guys. I used to watch this show back when it came on Cartoon Network, but there was a lot of episodes that I missed because, you know, it's kind of hard to live that life with just being an anime fan when you got a lot of shit like homework and shit in middle school, you know, and it's other shit that you find more interesting, which is what ultimately happened to me. But yeah we really really enjoyed ourselves with this anime live action adaptation uh it had a lot of good characters that were spot on that resembled their manga and animated counterparts and the action was off the chain man like the guy that uh plays kenshin himura um, I'm guessing that, uh, yeah, he has like a background in Super Sentai, so it was nothing for him to perform most of his stunts. And then you had characters like um, the dude that uh, played Sinosuke, which is like the big brute who had the big sword that, that was usually used for like cutting horses, but he could use it like a blunt yeah. sword or whatever like that. I had forgot all about him. Yeah. Yeah, I don't forgot everything that happened in the first one, except uh, I do remember it was this dude who was a police officer. Um, yeah, my man, Hajime Saito. I remember they tried to come and jack the dojo, but they failed. Yeah, shots my girl. Kyra. I remember that dude with the hat on. Yeah, Gene. Yeah, but man. we didn't need to get back to it, so I was like, let's just watch this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everything will kind of come back to us. It's like Probably. I said, it's been so long, and it's been a lot of you people. It don't matter what reaction we do, it's always that one person. Man, we're not gonna react to the new, uh, to the other part of Aroni Kitchen, man. Come on, man, react to it. Oh, what am I paying you for? It's like you're not paying us. You need to be on Patreon <laughs> so you can pay us. <laughs> so yeah, man, we I know you guys are kind of getting fed up with just waiting, so. Hopefully you enjoy this one. By the time it's up on YouTube, you will probably see, you probably see the third part too. You know, eventually we react to that. Which we're gonna do them. They're not gonna be too separate like it was with the first one and this one. So yeah. But uh, anyways, yeah, man, let's go ahead and jump into this. It's gonna be episode two, titled Kyoto Inferno, and let's do it. You been had, you been took. <laughs> he yoinking the fuck out of these dudes. Well, he taking a lunch money or something. Shit. Just you know. <laughs> but y'all couldn't stop this dude with guns. Nope. Is that Kitchen? What is he doing over there? Oh, no, that ain't him. Hey! <laughs> I forgot how these dudes have some badass techniques. Nice. Ooh. They hit the movie on him. Tell me. Do you believe in hell? Hey guys, that Chris come on over. Right, I got this shit from the car wash on sale. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who you call from the car wash? You know niggas love selling shit at car washes. You're Makoto Shishio? And what if I am? That goes without saying. Uh, like that? Stay where you are. Such violence. Such love master. Wow. Haven't you wondered yet how I knew that you were coming here? Former Shinsengumi third unit captain Hajime Saito. Mm. I know you. I was betrayed. We're both men who lived through the final days of the Shogunate. 
Like me, you can't be satisfied with this boring world. So take off that uniform. Join me. Think what we could accomplish. Under my command, you can help turn the clock back to that era of upheaval. No. I don't take orders from anybody. That word. Oh, I What's on that you no know good? Very well. Cause you're not about to fuck up. <laughs> oh man, all your men are damn, bro. It's like this nigga got a whole church service while he killing your man. Right, and the, the damn monks just up there just praying on the one to twelve. Seriously, number, number, number. Mm, fuck up off me, man. Who you thought, man? You must forgot I'm him, nigga. Shit, Woo. I am him. You gonna get back here? Cause you even took my money for the communion tray. <laughs> Damn. I knew they had some plan. But like, while you was doing the pose, I was gonna break this house now on the ass. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, there go the little boy. The little Yaiko, man. Hey. Those scars. Who it must be? One who's none too worthy to be asked or respond to such a query. I stride the evening streets of Gion, seeking to expel the barbarians. This long night will soon be replaced with a new dawn by the like hand of Bunkyside the Kill Soul. No. <laughs> I am him. Ain't this supposed to be him? Yeah. yeah I would actually love to go see something like this. Right. Bakusai. Bakusai? <laughs> right. Yo, grandma, we get ready to get him excited. Mm. Get, play. get him, Jenna Cena. Bruh, right, your grandma, watch a wrestling. Don't stupid ass. You see that man got a chair behind you? Uh oh. Damn. This must be a comedy show. I guess so. We've returned from the market. Yep, we're back with Grub. Welcome home. Master, Master! Oh, why won't you instruct us, Master Kenshin? We came to train here because we heard about you. Please, right. hold on for a moment. This is a misunderstanding. What? I merely reside here, you see. And I'm not an instructor by any means. But you're a swordsman. True, but not of this new era. The Kamiya life avowing style, the one taught here, it lets people live. That's the style of this new era. Mm. So that's the one you ought to learn. <gasps> Damn, but y'all ain't got no respect for the master? This nigga just said, uh, well, we'll basically in a nutshell, I kill people. Right. Okay, you don't want to learn shit from me. <laughs> you ain't no savage. Right? He just basically told them they wouldn't shit. No, he didn't, but... This era is a peaceful one, so there's no need to learn the sword and blade style anymore. Mr. Ken, Miss Megumi. Hey, Megumi, how are things? I remember her. Mm, that doctor girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Huh? Clinics don't do good business. <laughs> I'm about to make lunch if you want to stay. Before you do that, you have guests. Are you Mr. Gamora? Who you is? Yes. May I help you? My name is Kawaji, Superintendent General of the Metropolitan Police. You have been summoned. Hey, we were about to sit down and enjoy a nice meal, but you guys barge in and issue a summons? You mind telling us who the hell wants to see him so badly? The Home Lord, Toshimichi Okobo. <laughs> who the hell's that? You moron. He's the most powerful man in the government. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go with him. Nothing good will come of it. Hey. If he goes, then I'm coming too. That's because I don't trust government bigwigs like you. I thought he was going to say government bitches. <laughs> Did he just eat a tomato? Yeah, that's what they usually do. It's a fruit. Well. Even though it's mostly no, used for... No, ew. Look after things while we're gone. Sure. Shishio is operating in Kyoto. Shishio? What the hell is that? 
He's the successor to Batosai the Killsword. Say what? He's the other man who took on the role of the covert Killsword. You laid down your sword at the Battle of Toba Fushimi. Shishio was in that battle as well. He was our assassin, and we had groomed from a young age, and his tactical mind. I love the camera angles on the shit. Uh -huh. uh, however, while you care for your friends and for the <laughs> there is not a shred of any such emotion in Shishio. None of it so I remember that part. Mm -hmm. So I was just showing it from his perspective, man. Wait a minute. hunger to dominate and make his mark with evil punctions once trampling others underfoot. That is Shishio. So Shishio ain't worth shit. He's not. He's not worth a day. That wig is something. Seriously, we put me Jiraiya. What? Damn. Shit. What just happened? Seriously. No wonder this nigga got rage issues. Well, he was probably a demon anyway, so. There were a few that could have shattered the legitimacy of the Meiji government. We had no choice but to act as we did. That man helped y'all win, and you're gonna kill him. Sword, Shishu unwillingly laid down his life. Can put some of this, um, Holy oil. Lion punch on y'all. Mango flavor. Unholy oil. Need to burn that wig up in the fire, too. Seriously. Arise, Duke of Deep Fried, Lord of Uigui. Yes, and then vanished into the criminal underworld of Kyoto. Over the years, he's amassed a coalition of war maniacs, arms dealers, and radicals, and managed to turn them into a formidable army. He has one sole objective. Bring down the government. As weighty as this matter is, I don't expect an answer immediately. Think on it. No. Take a week. But please consider it. On May 14th, one week from today. I'll consider ripping that mustache off your face. Mm -hmm. Give me your answer. I would be like, nah, bruh. Takahito Ham Lincoln over here. That is what you look like. <laughs> With the Colonel Mustard gloves. Yes. Oh yeah, Miss Skipper right here. He's gonna kill him. He a little boy. He need to get him. That nigga make the grass move. Look how fast he moving. Got that uh, you say dope? Shit, just do it, hell. That nigga Sam was turning into Air Jordans. Damn. He he said I'm jumping on this damn thing. Grab yeah. his ass out of there. <gasps> Message for you from Mr. Shishio. Thinking to send him more about to Sai as an assassin was very ingenious of you, Mr. Okubo. What a waste of your efforts. This country is going to be mine. Ooh. The whole driver ain't got no idea. That damn Jeffro, man. Stop the damn car. Boy, Sonosuke got that good tan on it. Let's do it. They got a little ass knife. What are y'all doing? He's already dead. You are already dead. Seriously, man. Oh my old Shindu, man. Come on now. Get him. Seriously, get that nigga. Get that nigga. Some folks already plotting to assassinate him. 
I knew it. Took the liberty of exploiting their plan. That's not Deku. Gotta play that. Yeah, it's not <laughs> away. Like that. Shoot. Hell, I'm surprised he pulled his jaws out of his booty when he hit that corner. See, this is how that butcher does things. He has people in place all over the country and uses them to commit the most heinous crimes. No, nah, he needs to get your ass too. <laughs> and help burn that man up. He'll continue to chip away the power of the government. They really stabs him in the back. Come with me. Call it his way of spying us. The bastard timed it so we'd find them today. The bodies were found dumped outside the home ministry. Now I don't I don't think you should be killing them innocent people. But mm -hmm. maybe the, the people who did it to him or the people who were afraid of it, yeah. <laughs> namu namu namu. I was gonna say it's probably a flashback to that dude. Oh yeah, the husband that he had killed. He's supposed to get married tomorrow. <laughs> oh no no! What Homer Okubo said to you, Limora. You are our only remaining hope. Japan will stray from its course after this. Rest assured, Shishio will exploit that. This is war. Mm. I can't ignore this stuff any longer. So I'm going to Kyoto. Shishio. See why they call it Kyoto Inferno. Right? And I burnt that nigga up. You've made me a different person. I'd be like, I'm sure gonna try. <laughs> Shoot. You learned that I was put to the side to kill Sword. You still kept me from leaving. But the Shishio and all those who bear a grudge against Patosai the Kill Sword. I'm still no one but Patosai. Why do you have to be the one to go? Shishio might hate the government, but that doesn't involve you. Please stay here. Like you've been doing. All of us will keep training and cooking and laughing. Well, so is somebody you know. Quit being a kill sword. Mm -hmm. That's why it felt she should have filled that role. You might end up becoming a kill sword again, Kenshin. I can't discard my past. Why does this dude give me Michael Jackson vibes? He do? I was going to say that, but I thought you were going to scowl at me for saying no, this. No, I... It's the, the facial structure. I feel it. It's like um, fucking bad era of Michael Jackson. I was thinking more history, dangerous era, but okay. Damn, give me a damn butt light. Tired of this shit. Kill her! Kids leaving food all over the floor. <laughs> all right. <laughs> what is this? Is this Saito? Oh. I'm looking for him. What about Tosai? He looked crazy. I've heard that there's someone here who fits his description. There ain't no such fine personage as Batosai here, so move! Oh, hey. yeah! God damn! You wasn't ready for it! He wasn't. Damn. Yeah, he looked like, how dare you even try me? <laughs> when your uncle started trying to fight at the cookout. Now, this is great. I'm in a bad mood. Now I've got someone to take it out on. Where is Batosai? All you gotta do is beat me, and I'll tell you. Come on! No, no. Okay. Really? You better come get your nigga. You Ooh. better come get him. <laughs> you got a long ass sword. All this dirt y'all kicking up. I forget she can't fight. No, she can't. Damn! Beat this nigga <laughs> like there is no tomorrow. I thought he could do something. Seriously. He getting beat the 
Janelle's hair really doesn't have any form or technique. That's the problem, I think. Everybody else's technique is better than his. Before you pass out. Mm -hmm. They made a bamboo. I'd have got that dude sword and rushed over there to him while he was distracted and killed his ass. Serious. Got me dirtying up my Chris Jericho boots. Bitch, come here. Where's else Phoenix Dr. Wu? Where is Batosai? Tell me or else. I don't know anyone by that name. I was just passing by. Tell you, lying. I know you got the EVT card. I lent you too. What are you saying? <laughs> I don't know. It's just how these cats be walking off like right. they're looking for something like you owe them something. It's hard out here. I guess I would still have sex with you if he was, you know, messed over. You gonna steal my man fish? Who you is? Who is you? What are you doing? Oh, that's a girl. I'm tripping. Put my shit down. <laughs> I have to go on these pointless fetch quests to get this bitch to give me my sword back. When she fall and break her damn basket cap. Right. She need to open it up because then she gonna see it ain't worth a damn. <laughs> like I'll just take that from you. Oh, come on now. Uh oh. Nigga, you thiefed it from me first. Seriously. <laughs> Who's trying to destroy these people's stuff? Right. Like he's that clumsy. Give me that. And he really wanted to kill her. She's dead. Why do you want my sword so badly? If you're broke as hell, just say that. Seriously. Do you still are you still confused by that? Because uh -uh. I remember you kept on saying, "I don't get it." Like, what's so special about it? No, I get it. So I like think the top the way part is sharp, it help but me. the part that's usually sharp is the blunt side. It's just reverse. That's all it is. Yeah, no, I understand that now. Yeah. I wouldn't trust it. Why is everybody so fucking oily? Like they've been working on cars and shit all day. I don't think he can do that. I'm sorry. Bro, bro, gone, man. Big brother! Sorry. No, please! No! Oh, yeah, keep no. screaming and get us all caught. Seriously, you want to be a little squeaker or are you going to be a man? <laughs> I'm sorry. Damn. Damn. God. Everybody gone, Not bro. the parse. Running over there ain't going to help it. Oscar, Oscar worthy. Will Smith slap worthy right there.
Grandpappy James. <laughs> All right, man. Well, shit, I can't tell you how to cry. I know, but... Most of this is the dub's fault anyway. I'm sorry. He just... He got them caught. He, I know he's sad, but... Bro, <laughs> just saying what you want. I can really tell you that now. Ooh, nice. He came at me! Seriously. How y'all gonna pull the sword out on me? He came over here. I take it you're all shishios, man. And what if we are? Why yeah, ain't. kill these people? Their police officer's son. He tried to leak information about this village. So we held them responsible. Look after the boy. <laughs> Cut him to pieces! Let's go, baby! Shit, I'm getting my revenge. I gotta switch over to the silk to book your ass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Fucking with a real one right now. Look over to the sim. Hell yeah. Oh, he's how he smacked my nigga in the face right. with it. Hey. Uh. See why I don't want to tell nobody how to use my technique. Mm, baddest motherfucker in the world if you use the shit. <laughs> I like how it's just so forward momentum based with all these fights. Mm -hmm. There's no just sitting on one place. Ooh! Twist the rock! Seriously, twist twist the fate on him. Damn. Ah! <laughs> Ooh! How you used to fake that when you and your cousins played guns? Ah, ah, ah. Damn. Hey. Run, fat boy. No. Go <laughs> back here. What you had to say? Right. Looking like Teddy Riley. To ask. So this is the vision of the new era Shishio will create. You're as good as they say. Himura about to sign. Himura. What you say? You stole from the wrong one. You know, some cargo uh samurai pants. What do look like? I got the baddest bitch cleaning my bandages. She was an angel better than that. What the last girl did. I know it's not funny, but his hair coming through them damn holes. That's how it is to the anime. I thought your objective was the entire country. What strategic value could a place like this have? The hot spring here is really good for the burns covering my body. But look at the side that I present. The other guests would be frightened if they saw me. So I took this place. I did it out of consideration for their sake. I have no interest in revenge. In fact, I'm quite grateful for these scars. They've taught me a great many things I live by. Trust and be betrayed. Lower your guard and be killed. Get them before they get you. It also helps you me go like teriyaki barbecue. You're strong, you'll live. If you're weak, you'll die. These are simple, unequivocal truths. I cannot allow the people to suffer anymore. Not for a selfish madman who's just causes anything but that.
这个马克是尼古了。嗯Number twelve, get out of here. Hmm. I think you want to play with some milk. Because <laughs> the way you walked off earlier. Look back at it. Ain't no way to look back at it. Let's go. Hey. <laughs> But I love how graceful this shit is. Do is to turn on your rock my world. That's that crack it is, Skip. <laughs> Funny. Nothing at all gets said. Let's resume. <laughs> nice. Woo! Star jump. Let's go. <laughs> Action? Seriously. Boy, what kind of move you want? I got everything. I got the stanky leg. I got the hopscotch. Oh my God! This is gonna start up. Mm. Oh! <laughs> Not the Zen Tetsu Kaku. The Tetsu Kyu? <laughs> Half this nigga shit fell off. Yep. I advise you get a new sword. Did he cut him? No. You'll need one the next time that we cross paths. <laughs> How embarrassing! I'm going to Kyoto. <laughs> Kenshin's enemy there isn't just Shishio alone. Boy, let your bruises heal up. You can't. Not the shape that you're still in. Fine. I'll heal up as I train. Oh my god. Wait. Nothing's gonna stop me. I don't know why I thought the man was bigger than that before. Yeah, that's the same sauce. Take this. It's medicine. He need all this. He, <laughs> he, he do. He look hot ass in this. <laughs> that nigga some ice packs. And this too. It's an ointment. Now <laughs> make sure you share that with Mr. Ken as well. Thanks a bunch. She's starting to feel you, man. She digging you. You bring this stuff instead. What? Healing his wounds isn't my job, Kaoru. Don't be trying to pull Kaoru into this shit. Right? Damn. What if you get her killed? It Seriously. then he gonna hate you. Wanna watch our dojo? Right. Yeah. Well, Uncle behavior. <laughs> Uncle behavior. <laughs> Little black. Oh. Nani? Right. That's right. Welcome. My cat is so cute. Mr. Himura Batosai. Years ago, I thought you and I might very well cross paths, but to be totally honest, years ago they tried to. <laughs> more likely in battle. And you are. Many years ago, I was a covert Oniwa guard, one of the Kotori villages in Kyoto. I don't trust shit. Yes. And the fact that I was tasked by the Shogunate with the mission to gather intelligence while here, so as a result, I disguised myself in plain sight, acting as a restaurant proprietor. From the shadows, he kept Edo Castle safe through the final days of the Shogun. Aoshi Shinomori, the head of the covert Oniwa guards. What I do, legs? Is there? Seriously, I'm just strong in the motherfucker, though. Well aware. Thanks to the talks held between Katsu and Saigo, a bloody battle for Edo was avoided, and the castle was surrendered without a fight. 
But if things hadn't occurred in this manner, they playing this insidious music. There's a good chance <laughs> right. that Master Option might have met in battle. He being the Shogunate's strongest, and you the Restorations, to keep the Oni with guard from talking. We're all silenced. Damn! Come on, bro. It's like that? Why well, I gotta be this way? Serious. Ooh! Get yeah. him! Despite the fact that he himself is being sought by the Meiji government for a key post. Nice. Master Aoshi tried to save his men. The same shogun of both he and they and so faithfully served. <laughs> Damn! Wasn't ready for that. No, I was about to say that. Wasn't ready for that, was you? I thought he was going to deflect it or something. Damn. 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 I think you will. Shit. We ain't run up free. Got caught lacking, bruh. Everybody want to hate on Bato's side, man. He didn't start this shit. His goal is to defeat you. Gain the reputation for being the greatest warrior of all. And dedicate his victory to his fallen comrades. That is why he searches for you. I came here to deal with Makoto Shishio. Shishio. I must say I'm surprised. You returning to Kyoto after an absence of ten years. I knew you had to have a good reason, and you definitely found one. The Oniwa Intelligence Network is still active, and a valuable resource. So I encourage you, if we may be of any use to you at all, please don't hesitate to ask. So how goes it? Update me on Patosai's movements. He's now in Kyoto. That's a dude. And what's more, he's seeking to replace his reverse blade that Sojiro shattered. If it's Batosai's sword we're talking about, it was made by a famous swordsmith. They will kill the swordsmith. You live up to your name, Sword Hunter Cho. I have to admit, I'm impressed. Keep this up. I might give you some of this kitty. I don't think she's gonna say that. Oh wow, did you kill him already though? Yes, that's supposed to be a flashback. I will protect people. Yes, sir. In a manner that won't require the killing of another human being. Yeah, this is how he got his sword made. His animals have been so slow. I do hope you find it. And teach it to me one day as well. That he looks like somebody pop ball. <laughs> I don't know. A parting gift. I challenge you to try being a swordsman with that in your hip. It ought to show you how naive your way of thinking is. But since I can't stop you. Boy, don't make me clear out the place with this thing on my waist, man. Really? When that breaks, and if you're still prattling on about that silly, naive way of thinking, come to Kyoto and see me again. How may I help you? Master Seiko Arai? Yes? Your father. He did me a great kindness once years ago. I just learned that he passed away. So I must turn to you for a favor. Oh, here we go. Mm. Nigga, cause your hair I'm just the kid. is What's wrong? traumatizing my child. Come here, little boy. Jamal oh. tell you that I'm really your daddy. How you gonna steal some people's children? Put down our son. I'll give you anything you want. Oh. All I want is to know if your father was Shakuarai. 
You see, I've heard this rumor about him. That the last sword the old man forged is still around somewhere. And that it's never been used by anyone either. The, the police! Summon them here! Our baby boy! <laughs> man, Kenshin gotta fight so many characters up in this movie. That poor child! He didn't stand a chance. <laughs> wow. Pipe down, would ya? Or I'll really give you something to cry about. How you gonna threaten the baby? Mm. I'll threaten the child, but I won't threaten the baby. Got to be a raggedy nigga to do that. Scars on the left cheek. I hate this dude's wig. So you're the famous kill sword himself. You're more of a toast side, huh? I heard that your sword broke. Are you here to get Shaku's last piece too? Just like I am? What are you talking about? <laughs> if you don't know about it, I guess that means you got no problem if I take it then. Good, stay out of my way. <laughs> child over now why should I even if I'm able to get my hands on Shaku's last sword I still need one more thing all right Leonardo that's something to test it on hey oh boy coming his own beat and everything huh <laughs> oh they guys a sheath hey I mean, I think he's still doing a pretty good job with just that. Yeah. Right. Hide <laughs> right behind the decorations. You gotta man. be a badass when you come to fight with no sword. Seriously. Hey. <laughs> I like how he did that. How he get that on ground? Ooh. <laughs> My back. <sighs> My back. <laughs> Hit him again. You're Seriously. pretty good, I'll give you that. But that last move, that was gonna cost you, Matosai. I'm sorry, my boy Bucky, go. Like y'all over there breaking the shrine and shit. I hope the police arrest y'all. That's definitely Bakugo. I hope the police arrest y'all both. You had enough yet? You realize that a measly brat ain't worth risking your life over? So we got Deku and Bakugo on World War Team. Hey, what's up, like Deku? Me, bro. I mean, you haven't heard him in a while. You got bad ears, so. No, you got bad ears. No, you probably right though. Start to tick me off. Reject Bakugou, who looks stupid. At one time in my life, I killed many people to help establish a new era. Bragging now, are ya? You're a real piece of work. Instead of accepting your beat, you cling to past glories instead. <laughs> it's so damn pathetic. It's funny. Ten years ago. Replaced an era of endless bloodshed with a new one that stressed peace. Now a child can grow up happy and healthy, never knowing the fear of war. This is both the promise and the blessing that the peace of this new era offers. Therefore, I will get him back to his parents. Even if it costs my life to do so. I can't stand this guy's face. <laughs> Look at this weirdo. Just nasty. Just uncouth. So COVID-19. Hmm. This belt is off. Oh, wow. Well, what the heck? I'm going to have a slob and shit. Now his nipple is showing. <laughs> nipple exposal technique. You just trying to use that technique on me. Hmm. <laughs> Well, you could have been grabbed your son. Wait there, Yuri! Just hold on a little longer! Why are you running away? You could have grabbed him. You're gonna go run with a sword to help him. I guess. I just am still stuck on how that dude was like some half man samurai or fighting at the shrine. 
Like he was really disgusted by that shit. Hey, the Zantetsu can. Zantetsu can. I hope people know we know how to pronounce yeah. that damn word and that <laughs> we just say that because it's an inside joke. Right. You said Tetsu Ken. Beat his ass. Shit. Nice. Who the bath with mine? I don't want you to give me a child, but like, take my bath. Yeah, some has been samurai really over there, still fighting by the shrine. Seriously. Now y'all wanna show up. Maurice Sr., hurry up! Ooh, that was clean! <laughs> so it really did exist, huh? That sword is mine, you hear? Um, actually. <laughs> Boy, I'm gonna go hint and style on this. Let's settle this thing properly. Just leave it on a nipple harness. Maybe get you one. Let that Legion of Doom. <laughs> Why he look like he in a Japanese Michael Jackson pose? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, since I guess you've forgotten the sheer joy of cutting people down, how about I help you remember what it's like? Mm. Please defeat this man. You could have been got your child. You just wait. I'm gonna carve that whitey brat up. He could have been had the baby and left. And lived happily ever after. Shit. Ooh. Did he get him? Did he cut him? Once again, another clean ass move. Got a lot of action in this movie. Here's the best. All right. Seriously. Yori, hold on. Kenshin. I mean, can you blame him? He was gonna go kill the baby. Niggas who kill babies need to be gone. <laughs> you killed him. What, she is sweaty? She is. Everybody be all sweaty and greasy in this movie. Kinda can't even blame him, though. It's probably hot as hell. Getting up in them damn clocks. Little cloggers. Get your stupid ass. Get that scum up. Take you to jail. Put your ass up under You getting charged with Rico and um involuntary Zico. shoe slaughter. The true fortune father made. And just what exactly does that mean? My father had only ever made killing swords, but this is the offering sword he made with hope for the future in mind. Mm -hmm. Look at Dad thinking he is. It's customary. Oh, the baby just looks froze. <laughs> it do. It's looking at the camera, man. Made true fortune is offered to the gods. Breaking the number one more rule of movies. Sometimes given to someone for safekeeping. So, yes. The sword my father gave you back then was the spare fortune. As for that sword, please take it with you. So what you trying to tell me is you gave me a test demo the first time, and it's the real deal. I guess it did. Master Shaku, you made this sword with hope for the future. May it and my naive way of thinking help create a better one. Show us how better. Sorry to have kept you all waiting, my friends. Hojing, sir. But it was dirty and sweaty and stanky. Not one of them looked clean. Except for him. 
Right? The Shinpachi look alike. Yeah. The only one that looks Tomorrow, remotely clean. Like he had a like bath like and had lunch. We will ignite the Kyoto Inferno! Man, got on here, man. What do all of them got on? You're one of the ten swords who works for Shishio. Sword Hunter Cho. Is that correct? That's me, Mr. Stiff and Formal. <laughs> What's Shishio planning? I do. I ain't no rat. No ratatouille. If he wanted to get his arms out of there, it looks like he easily could. If you won't give us an answer, then we'll beat it out of you. You better lose your loyalty to Shishio quick if you know what's good for you. He don't know what's good for him. That's the problem right there. <laughs> what are you talking about? I ain't got any sort of loyalty to Shishio, pal. Me and him just banded together because of some shared interests. Uh uh. Crazy. Ass. Something wrong. Yeah. He probably like gave them the wrong false information. information, or he's just leading them into a fucking trap. A sinister plot carried out by Shishio under the waning moon. Where the wind's direction. Kyoto's gonna be engulfed in fire? Not if we stop it. If we don't, many will die. This city, it's where our family has laid down its roots. We will not let it be destroyed. Misao, release the carrier pigeons. Let all of Kyoto know. Right. Kurojo, Shirojo, Asugami, all my men. Get into your ninja. Oh, right yes, sir. Let's go. The time that we show them the power of the Onwa God. I don't know. Old school. He gonna die, son. Probably. You know what time it is. My boy had a new outfit in every scene, ain't he? Mm -hmm. Dressed to kill. Hell no. Take your ass back so, Oh! I wouldn't have come all this way if I wasn't willing to. I'll fight till the end, if that's what it takes. Me too! I've gotten a lot stronger. It's time to go. I can't let you two come along. Oh! <gasps> Really feel good out there. They probably just waiting. <laughs> right. They probably just waiting for them to walk right up in the Oh trap. yeah, they, they finna get fucked off. Somebody's finna get fucked off. Somebody finna get funky. I don't know why he didn't just tell him. Oh wow. Set it off. Nothing else. <laughs> right? Let's show Gordon it, man. Right? It's right Fucking butts! Oh, right? <laughs> One, two, three. One, two. Fight to defend your city and thwart this heinous plot of theirs. 
I still feel like so. Even though they right there. Come on. Ignite the blaze! It's like a decoy. Holy shit rate, Batman. Why is it so fucking low? Right? That looks bad. Seriously. Is this VHS? I can barely see. Funimation, man. There you go. That's my favorite beat. They need to let me. They need to let me sing on one of them. No, you don't. So I can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now you remember this beat. Anytime you hear this beat, you know they finna whoop a hundred asses. <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> I like how he's just walking with heels. Like, fuck this shit. Gonna help me light my cigarette out. Yeah, let's go. Yes, nigga. <laughs> he said, I'm gonna be clean till I die. I'm gonna smoke me a cigarette and smoke me a cigarette. Yeah. Nice. Bitch. Concussion. Remix version, motherfucker. Back problem. <laughs> All right. <laughs> nice little Yahiko. Let's get it. That's right. Whatever you said. Uh oh, he's sliding with it. Yeah. Oh. Just for all Okay, I was lame. Whoop the ass already. Uh. Uh. You know, every character gotta have a lame line every now and then. Seriously. Why don't Did you throw your sword, his in, the sword water? in the water? Yeah. That's why you can make that cool move, I guess. <laughs> Where is Batosai? I have heard that you're sheltering a man with his scars. Then I'm assuming you've also heard that Misao has been desperately searching for you. She is still of the belief that you are the same Aoshi of old and not the bitter one you become. Just answer the question, old man. I will not. Since he is an esteemed guest of the Aoya. Hmm. I guess we're doing this the hard way then. So be it. It doesn't have to be like this. Aoshi. Why not allow... So she likes a dude who you. wants to kill her granddad? What? I don't think he wants to kill him. He wants to kill Kenshin. I think he's going to kill him too. Never oh, oh! Let's go. <laughs> it's like Papa got on this gold bun arm route, so he good. He can still move too. He done cut a plank of granddaddy hair off. It's like when I was trying to catch a fade, I didn't really mean I want to fade. Nice. Damn. The sword already fucked up. Dude, you are doing the most. Gonna kill this old defenseless man. Does he won't tell you what his duty is? To forsake our pride and remain on this path of eternal strife that you've chosen. I don't need you to quit. <laughs> really? Take you off it, and I will end you. 
Oh, oh no. You doing all that big talking. I got the same arm wraps too. We both shop at JC Penny's. <laughs> Let's go. Don't pull no sneak attack. Come on out. <laughs> oh wow. Now nah, nigga got uh, background dancers and stunt doubles. Shit. Right? This ain't what we signed up uh, for, Jenny man. Jackson, uh, background dancers and shit. They must be independent contractors or something, because I know they can't fight. Yeah, take that. <laughs> Did you just cut Greg Happy? Seems that way. You bastard! Nice! Uh -oh. <laughs> Greg Daddy? Shoot! Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Boy, please kill this nigga. I'm so sick of him and his terrible haircut. What do you just? I'll just have to keep looking for you. Okay. <laughs> 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 I can tell that one's gonna make it. All right. It's like, damn, how did he do it the last time we fought? Right here, bitch. <laughs> what I was said. Still asking that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Elder abuse. <laughs> Come on, bro. Oh, shit, he got all kind of weapons stashed for Nice. Oh, shit, she's gonna see Grandpa kill this nigga. Ooh! Oh, shit! The thunder, the lightning, and the. And then you just killed Popo! <gasps> They ought to both be dead. I was wrong. I thought the old you still lived. But that man is gone. Well, man, he just slashed you a little bit, man. You'll be all right. He old. It don't take much. Shit. A little Neo spawn and put on that thing, man. What kind of death? The Holy Spirit death. She don't need to be who was name new girlfriend. She just she ain't she ain't about it. No, she ain't. At least the other girl, she she seems like she about it. He he, he. No. Mm. You finna just kill my girl happy and I'm finna stand there and look at you. Absolutely not. Yeah. So many of them. So many. How much did it cost to get all those bandages? Must have been a clearance sale or something to get all that. Bitch. Uh. <laughs> she, she's still fighting. They better not kill her. Okay. Uh. Clean it off me, boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so goofy ass. Sorrow. But why? Come on, bro. Why us? To help your sorry but That was a sorry punch that he just had tried to do just now. Please don't get killed playing with him. Cause you're playing with the wrong one. Glad to hear it. <laughs> Work's done. No, they didn't. <laughs> Y'all celebrating too quick, like. Word. Call me crazy. Did you see anything wrong here? Yes. No 
hide your hair if she's your as ten swords. Hey, we won. Lighten up, you sourpuss. He's right. There's something suspicious about this. Something smell funky. If his objective was to burn down Kyoto, Shishio would want to see it with his own two eyes. Please don't. Don't hurt her. I don't think she's gonna die. She's too important for that. No, no, no. Oh, shit. Not this. Oh. Miss Kaoru Kamiya, I presume? Who are you? <gasps> Damn, he's just not there. Think he's got more tricks up his sleeve? Is that I do? In fact, this reminds me of a tactic used in the last great battle. It's like the Battle of Toba Fushimi. In it, the Shogun Yoshinobu Tokugawa deceived his own allies and fled back to Edo from Osaka Bay. This contributed to the victory for the Restoration, who then burned Shishio. And a new era came. If Shishio made that a part of his own plot, it would be like poetic justice to him. So what was all this then? But big fan of genitals and Tupac. Y'all at the wrong place at the wrong time. And bring an end to this so called new era. Well, you failed. That nigga should have let a buzz saw. Better hurry up, boy. You better use them bunnies. Shit. My girlfriend. <laughs> he is gone. Woo. You ain't gonna outrun that horse. I can tell you that. Okay, there you go. Be funny. You make the horse start running on the wall and shit. That would be something else. That'd be like <laughs> one of them Bollywood movies. Wow, oh, man. Mow this nigga down with a horse, please. Show yourself. That's all side. Let me just start raining on my boy and everything, man. You know the train? Wow. Yeah. Shit. Boys ain't playing, but that's like having a nuclear weapon back in that time. Mm -hmm. The Flying Dustman Ship. What movie is it that we watched? Where was that ship that burned down and that dude turned into gold? That was Ninja Scroll. Hmm. Well, you had buddy in the death and then the ship started mm -hmm. catching on fire. Didn't they both die? No. Whoop they ass! <laughs> we ain't got time to play with y'all. Mm. There's an ass there. Congratulations on deducing that the fire was just a ruse. Where's Kaoru? What the hell? I congratulate you, yet all you can think about is the woman? I won't let innocent people get hurt because of me. Is that so? Let's see about that, old oh, master! Come on, now, Yumi. Take that off the poor little thing. Sure. <laughs> Girl, you're over here trying to hurt another woman? What's wrong with you? Damn thing until you and I have settled something! 
He ain't got time to worry about your birthdays. ass. Shit. See, what I'm interested in is to learn if the blood of the kill sword still flows through your veins. That's right. So Ain't I always like that at the end of every movie with him? It's like she's somebody who want to force him to kill them, mm -hmm. just so they can know that he can still kill people. Which one's the greatest kill story? It ain't you. Every time, why right? Don't you trust? No! You can't let him provoke you! If you don't save her, you'll curse yourself. The gods, the Buddha, the peaceful life that's failed you. Shut up. Your friend will look quite different, Bird. <laughs> Let's get it! <laughs> you need be no choice, nigga. Mm. Damn, come on, man. You must be in full throttle now. No, don't you have to you can't get that skinny bitch off of you. Bruh, take your ass back to Warriors of Virtue. Damn. Get out of my way. She can't swim. What the hell? <laughs> right? My predecessor doesn't die by the sword, but by suicide. Oh, they can't let it die off. Yeah. <laughs> Lost at sea. Lost at sea. Now it looks like one of those um, soundtrack commercials with the little waves. Uh -huh. Now that's what I call stranded 25. Right? Here and now. Right. I'm looking at everything. <laughs> Mr. Krabs. Money. Who is this? Look at all the Crown Royal bag socks. Sir, if you will give my shit back. Who is this? Zip tag sound? Show us your face. Be funny if that's his master. Like he faked his own death or something. Sort 
Who was this? I was, I was thinking, I was like, you know, I'm talking about show us your face, like I would know who the hell it was anyway. Seriously. Cause they got the camera on, like we supposed to know. The dead. Mm -hmm. Remember dead. these eyes. I don't know. No, no post credit pieces. No post credit pieces. But guys, there was Roroni Kenshin Part 2 Kyoto Inferno. So things didn't end like they were supposed to. This is basically Wee. Empire. Empire Strikes Back. You know what I'm saying? Because that didn't end well. Like the second Star Wars movie, like Luke gets his arm cut off by Dark Vader and shit like that. And he finds out that Dark Vader is his father or some shit. Luke had his arms cut off. We yeah, one of his arms got cut off. And he had to get a robot on him. It's like a running gag up in Star Wars. It's like, oh, the master cuts off the Padawan's arm and they get a robotic arm and shit. It's crazy out there in Star Wars streets, but that's kind of what I got on this because fucking, you know, Kenshin, he's kind of like the master and now, you know, he's. He done know, got been... almost drowned, y'all. Right. So. <clears throat> But well, yeah, man, that was good. That was good. That was a good movie. It's like being that I'm not familiar with the source material, um, or the the you know original anime or the manga, whatever y'all talk about. It's got I don't know nothing about that. So because I don't know anything about that, I'm just basing this off of what you know how I see this movie. Yeah, so there's still mean? like other material that I want to go back and watch. Like um, I know they had like other more mature themed movies or animated movies. Uh, like Samurai X, which is a little more vi visual, you know, in terms of like all the violence and stuff like that. More graphic. Samurai X. Is anything like Ninja Scroll? I don't need that. I mean, it ain't got no like sexual themes or nothing. It's just more graphics showing like him being Batosai, the Manslayer or whatever they call oh. him, or the Kill well. Sword. I knew someone right. I knew that was wrong. I'm like, that dude just told him that to lure them there. Of course, he's not going to tell them the real plan. Right. You know, it's like, we ain't allies. We just uh. <laughs> So, you know, and they dumbass believed it and went. And I guess it was smarter than two, I guess, because they probably would have still burnt the shit down if they didn't come. So, actually, <clears throat> maybe it wasn't just a ruse. Maybe it was just, we going to lead you here where some crazy shit going to go down. But mm -hmm. the real crazy shit going to go down over here across town. Exactly. So. Yeah, they got a whole fucking ship that's kind of packed mm -hmm. with like all kinds of artillery and shit like that. So they ready, man. And some told me this wasn't going to end all well because like looking at the time of. We yeah, had left, the time we had left. I was like, there's no way they're going to solve this and. No. Yeah, they kidnapped Kaoru at the last fucking minute. Too. Yeah, I'm and like, he didn't yeah. get a chance to fight the main dude. So I was like, this is going to go into the next movie. I Seriously. I wonder if Kaoru washed up on the same shore before him or a little after him. Or, yeah, I didn't even think he kicked her off the boat. I thought she just kicked. I thought he kicked her to the bottom level of the boat. but Ain't no telling. Ain't no I telling. I don't know. So he went over there and tried to save her and didn't work. Was, but they better not kill her. I'm like... He, you know, they ain't even got to do nothing yet. <laughs> right. You know, this is serious stuff. Seriously, man. But you know this motherfucker, this Shishio character, he a bad mofo and he get two movies dedicated to him. Right? He got to be a scroll man. So I'm going to get that a nice, uh, uh, I think we'll give it an A+. Plus. Yeah, I'm going to give it an A+, plus too, man. Like, I didn't really, we didn't get a complete ending, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We just a good thing you know because that that builds up the hype and the anticipation for the next one yeah you so. know so yeah it's like I gave it the same well did I give the first one an S I don't remember I think I gave the first one an S because I really enjoyed that one I feel like this battle between Shisho and Kenshin is going to be a lot more cool. epic yeah than the one we had got with Gina. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Because Gene, it was kind of just straightforward there in the woods and stuff. Uh, Kaoru was held captive and stuff like that. And I think she gets strangled by Gene's force choke. Another one of those Star Wars references. Are they doing that on purpose? I don't know. It's like it's a lot of Star Wars interconnected shit going on here. But um, yeah, man, really enjoyed that. We hope you enjoyed this one. We finally did it, guys. Now we have to finally, finally. Right? You're going to have to wait five years. For the, for the next, 
Oh man, hopefully we have more incentive to do it. I mean, this was a good episode of uh, good movies. Yeah, so. I, yeah, pretty. This is titled episode two up on Funimation. Yeah, fucking Funimation, man. I don't know why they say like you try to do something good. They and played legal. us multiple times on this one. Seriously, man. No one y'all getting absorbed by Crunchyroll. But yeah, that's gonna do it for us today, guys. If there's anything we may have missed or any kind of details that you guys want to provide to us, do so in the comment section below without spoiling us on anything that's going to happen in the future installments. So, yeah. But this is your boy RBG, a.k.a. The Random Black Gamer. My lovely white gentle on the ones and twos. We ain't seen the reactions. We'll catch you guys on the next reaction to Roni Kinch in the movie. Peace.